what did I say I was going to do? I was going to cut down some trees over night time. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Looks like we're halfway through the night. And it looks like we've attracted a spider. Whoa! Okay, I was under the impression they were sitting down. But apparently they're not. Wow. Apparently dogs that are sitting down will attack mobs if they attack you. Fancy that. Well, I guess I need that uh, glass panes set up, won't I? If I'm not mistaken, glass panes are like this. Yeah, 16 as well. Perfect, that's why I went for the panes instead of the actual glass, because there's so much more... Oh, the torch. So much more easy to set up. They cost a lot less to make than actual glass. Even though they require glass to make them, of course. <laughs> Let's pick that up. Obviously, you got to do it for every freaking side. Like a moron, I put them on every single log on all sides. Okay. And I'm going to put some torches inside as well. Okay, I need some more. Should have enough to make some more. Yep, excellent. Didn't know you got XP from uh, smelting glass. Do you just get it from smelting in general? Hmm. I guess. Bit of a surprise. And I suppose this is going to be like this. And have another refined wood block here as well. Instead of the regular refined stuff. Now we put a torch in the corner. And there for now. That'll work wonders. And there. So we've got some more sand, some more glass. Let's get that last piece of glass out. Last two pieces rather. And put them away. I want my windows to be too high, but at the same time I don't want it to connect to a tree. Which I probably shouldn't have planted so close to my house, but whatever. Okay, he's going to start banging on the door, no doubt. There we go. Unless... No, he's not going to start banging on the door. Oh, oh yes he is. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. Die. Got all the zombie spawners that I want. Just the one. <laughs> right. Okay, it's nearly daytime. That's great. That'd be good to get resolved fairly soon. Now, first thing I want to do is aim for some iron and some more coal so that I can start making a farm by getting a bucket going and, of course, some iron tools. That'd be great. Um, I mean, I could have built a house over near someone that was already established and used all of their machines to speed everything up, but I felt like it would be a better idea, personally, to start somewhat close to people, I'm probably about 500 blocks away I imagine, and then, um, you know, make my own machines and suck it up I guess, if, if that's what I'm looking for I suppose. Creepers everywhere, that's not too bad. Might be going on a creeper hunting in the morning, that'd be awesome. Alright, so it's nearly daytime. Um, Anything else I can do furnace-wise, or no? Oh, I don't really have anything. Oh, I have enough wood to cook up, I suppose. I prefer not to, but I'll need four pieces for the front door. We'll see what we can cook with that, shall we? Let's start doing this bit here while we're waiting for that to cook. Shouldn't be too dangerous, I imagine, of course. And then I'll get creeped in the face, naturally. There we go. And do this side as well. I could use the iron axe. Ah, no, iron axe, yeah, sure. Stone axe if I really wanted to, but that's not really going to speed things up too much. And just like that, it's daytime. Well, nearly. Hey, on the bright side, I'll be able to loot some skeletons. That's wonderful. Always like to kill them skeletons and get those bone mills. Put that stick away. So we've now got 32... Okay, that goes in here. 32 torches, and I'll be able to go mining very nicely as soon as it's daytime. Okay, we'll put that coal away, that last piece, just to cook something with later. Later. And boom. So, I do have some chickens over there and around this general area. A lot of sheep. A ton of them. Which is great. I'll be able to make a wool farm, hopefully. Um, if they don't get away too much. But, yeah, I should be able to capture two of them pretty easily. 
uh, after I go mining, of course. And a bunch of dirt. I need some more bread with me because I might be going a little bit more mining than that. Okay, it's fully on daytime now. So let's head out and go mining. Ouch. Like, <laughs> that took a while to take effect. Now, I had some iron over here, if I'm not mistaken, down here. Yeah, down here. Oh, there's a zombie. Wow, how did that spawn down there? That's weird. Hmm. Must have just... Wait, what? One here. Okay. So it looks like there's a dark spot here, or perhaps a cave, but... Uh... I don't know if I'll get to that. I might get to that later, perhaps. I was thinking of exploring the cave where the mob spawner was first, but, you know, obviously capture, since there's so many surface holes around this area, as you can see on Ray's minimap up there, just capture the ores on the surface first and, um, you know, make my way from there. So, if I can, first thing I want to... Well, if I can, of course I can. First thing I want to try and go for is a macerator straight away. Um, and I don't know what sort of power sources I'm going to be needing for that macerator. Let me think. Did you actually need a power source? I think you did. I think you can use coal, though. I'm not sure. Macerator. I know that we just used a bat box and solar energy for the one in the main house. I'll have to look around into it, but obviously the first thing I really want to do is just get actual macerator going. So what am I... I'll get into the house before... Actually, no, let's go mining a tad more before I do that. I was going to say, what am I going to be looking at for a macerator, but um, we'll do that soon. Have a look at that. Yeah, it's a small iron around, which is what I want to go for. Very useful material. Especially when you can macerate it, of course. Now, is there anything over this way or not? It just loops back around to the surface. Okay. I also did have some lava over this away. Not that it really matters. See, oh, is that actually from the lava fountain itself, is it? Ah, oh, it is too. Oh, okay, that's a shame. See, I've seen the lava leaking through the roof here, and I was just, I, I, I thought that it was some sort of underground lava source that was above ground at the same time. Shut up. Um, but no, it's just from the lava waterfall. The majestical, majestical lava waterfall. And some more coal. Awesome. That'd be great to take. And a bunch more iron. Wonderful. I've got a lot of resources around here. Absolutely great. And what am I going to need for a macerator? I think you need a iron furnace as a base. You will need refined iron. Uh, that's going to be a pain. Well, at this stage, it's going to be a pain anyway. But I'm sure I will get a handle on it. So, refined iron, obviously, you do by cooking iron itself. Um, just with regular coals, fine. And I think, first things first, I might go for an iron furnace. So, now we'll head out of here and we'll see if we can find another hole in the ground over here. Yeah, there's a few over here. Just a patch of water for this one. Nothing interesting in the water? Nope. What's this? This one? No, that looks promising. Okay. Let's head down here. Ah, perfect. More iron. Just what I was looking for. Okay. What else is down here? Ah, some more of that appetite stuff. That's great. What's this? Nothing dangerous in there? Just in case I've got a torch. And it looks like I've stumbled upon a cave system. I don't see anything dangerous down here yet. Okay. I'd like to light a cave up before I start picking at its goodies. Just so I don't get camped by a mob. Ah, is that copper beside me to the left? Which may seem like it has delayed audio on the video. But I... Well, there's a zombie. Okay, we'll back off for now. Not that I can't handle it, but it's a, in a drop-off, and I'd prefer not to drop off, if that makes sense. Because then I could probably get ganked by a ton of different things, which is obviously a wonderful idea at this stage. <laughs> and by that, that was clearly sarcasm. Let's just check that zombie. No zombie. They can't get up. That's great. 
So I've got 30 pieces of iron at the moment anyway. I'm going to have some more appetite and I think coal. Okay, I thought there was more iron. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is more iron. But I'll grab this coal and then I can start cooking up some um, refined iron, I guess. Wow, that's pretty quick. Uh, I'm glad that I actually started to get refined iron already. Well, assuming I don't die to a creeper or something. Mm. Not that I can't get my stuff back anyway. Let's put a torch down so you guys can see. Because unfortunately, Feed the Beast does not come with Gamma Bright. Bit of a shame, really. I would have thought that it would have. I'm sure I can mod it in myself, though, if I find a compatible version. I'm level 10? Really? Wow. That's crazy. Surprised. I, I suppose I've been playing for about... Oh, I kind of want to say an hour before I recorded. Um, just running around, exploring, trying to find somewhere to live. I mean, when I spawned in, there was nothing near me, so everybody else had wandered off from spawn. I guess uh, spawn isn't a very favourable place to stay. There were a few villages around the place. Um, I think there was one near where I got my walls from, but the reality is it's probably been looted. Although, I may go have a look. In fact, I think I might take all this stuff back to the house and then go have a look at that village just in case there's something there that I can grab. That'd be great. Um, so, let's just grab this last bit of coal here. Wonderful. Ton of resources and I'll have to grab all of this as well, of course. Did I really just run out of pickaxe? I did. Okay. Um... I think at the moment the coal is more important than the iron because, let's face it, you may get a lot of coal late game, but you rarely get any early game, if that makes any sense. And you're always wanting for torches until you have too many of them. <laughs> so, wow, this pickaxe is lasting me quite a while against this, oh, <laughs> against this ore vein, which apparently it's done. I might actually just go and grab my last stone pick and mine up the last few bits of resources here. Uh, let's see, there's, an, there's more appetite there. I suppose that's pretty important stuff. I mean, wouldn't be shaped like a gem if it wasn't, hey? <laughs> of course. One assumes instantly when seeing a gem. Hey, is that more... more? Uh, are you serious? There's no Optifine? Hmm. More oil, but I think that's someone's house over there. I'll go over a bit of a snoop um, and see. I suppose, you know, if you've built yourself next to an oil um, area, it's sort of like claimed as yours, if that makes any sense. In my feeble, feeble mind, it does. Okay. Why is... Oh, that's charcoal, that's why. And, of course... Oh, wow! You can use that for, uh, EU. Wait, EU. Oh, don't tell me they don't have a, uh... T -t 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 um... Do they not? Do I have to keep typing? Okay. Energy counter. Oh, They don't have an energy condenser. What a shame. I suppose it is cheating a bit, though. Just a tad. Um, right, I did say I was going to get my other pickaxe, didn't I? Did I actually make one? I don't think I made one, did I? Wow. Silly Tim. No, I did make one. No, there we go. Well, let's go grab those last few resources. And then we'll head off to snoop at that uh, person's house over there. And um, check out the village. And see if I can't loot anything from that village that I mentioned. Which is always a good thing to do. I mean, sometimes villages have diamonds in them. Uh, I don't know how rare it is, but I know that they do have the chance. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and post a comment below to tell me how I can improve. And feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ah, there's a test certificate. What do you want it? Oh, they're all in here. Holy crap.